have partnered with X Rocker. They have great quality products such as chairs, desks, accessories, and more. Feel free to check out the link down below in the description. And when checking out, use the code Ironix10 and get 10% off of any item of your choice. Hey guys, it's Ironix here, and today I'm making another animal video. In today's video, we're gonna be trying a something a little different here. Where we do still play animal games, but in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 games. More specifically, top 10 animal games. Obviously, this is kind of more so in my opinion, because obviously you may like a different game much more than I do. But this is also just in case maybe you're bored looking for something new, maybe never heard of it, just looking for something, anything. This is that video. I'm going to be going over the top 10 that I feel should be mentioned, and we will be looking at each one individually, and I will be talking about the reason why, because obviously that's kind of important, and maybe you didn't know that about the game. But anyways, let's get started. So I'm going to be doing this list kind of backwards-ish, you know, instead of starting from number one, we're going to start from number 10. We're going to be working our way up to the one that I think is probably the best game you could possibly play animal game-wise. Now starting here at number 10, we have shard seekers a game that I have played many many times over we have seen many updates throughout this game and so much more relating to it we've seen dragons get completely rechanged remodeled we've seen the map go through multiple changes as well we've seen them just do as much as they possibly can with this game and it is absolutely fantastic to see reason why i put it at number 10 though out of my list is because as much as it is like a really stunning game it has a really cool concept and has so many different creatures i feel like it kind of gets a little bit boring after playing for a while and i feel like it's just really difficult to get like shards in this game and i feel like the only people who ever have like the really cool creatures are only people who buy the shards with robux so you know they're not entirely playing the game as intended but again it has a huge map so there's a lot to explore there it's really fun with friends i believe most of these games like i have experienced them with playing like with friends so i feel like definitely most of these games are much more fun with friends obviously there are some games where you can literally play with absolute strangers and have the funnest time ever but this is one of those games where you would kind of probably prefer to be with some people that you know although you definitely can meet like a whole bunch of different people in this game and they are some really interesting characters i have to say that number nine on my list is going to be animal simulator i have made i believe one to two videos on this game and i have said some pretty awesome things because i honestly really do enjoy this game as well although this isn't one that i usually play a lot i feel like this kind of follows shard seekers where only some people will have the cooler characters and those people usually buy it through robux or this one more specifically like in order to have have, like the cool creatures or be cool in this game you have to sit here and grind for hours on end and do so much work just to get these really cool creatures and stuff and i feel like that's kind of like the only issue i see with this game is that there isn't really much of an easier way to do things here i mean it is really cool that you can walk around and just get new characters out of like literally nowhere <laughs> i think that is definitely really cool and i really do like the map for this game considering the spawn area is usually like this treehouse area i believe they actually changed it from the last time i was here because now they have a barn and the map seems slightly bigger because the treehouse area has gotten a lot smaller from what it used to be but there's some really cool things here i really like the idea of being able to fight like bosses in this game because that was something here and then there's also just like little safe areas where no one can hurt you and so you can like sit there and kind of grind and you know get better at the game so it's definitely a really cool game i really like how the models are i think it's really cool again this one is definitely like a good role play one but it is kind of a struggle considering that someone can kind of just come up and kill you out of the blue and you know that's not really something you want to look for when playing a game i mean maybe it is maybe that's what you want but for me i like to kind of just be there chill vibe you know i like what i'm looking for usually is kind of like a chill role play game or some kind of game where i can like work to become like better in the game you know acquire cooler things stuff like that this one it has that kind of concept but again just the idea that other people can kind of like attack you just whenever and then that you have to like try so hard in order to get like the higher up creatures it's just 
a little too much. For number eight on our list, I'm gonna have to put Horse World on there. Horse World at least needed to be somewhere on this list, considering that it had been one of the games that I've been playing for the longest time ever and i still like love the models i love a lot of things about this game and i feel like i just can't shake it off of me you know as much as like i don't play it anymore i feel like it is still like a wonderful game and i would love to see like a whole lot of updates with it maybe like a whole map redo or maybe just some more models because i wouldn't want them to change the horse models i mean i love them but the map maybe just a just a tad but this one is again i really this one's a really good role play one this one is really fun you'll meet a lot of cool people on here along with the other games that these creators produce they're usually pretty like fun games and you'll find some pretty interesting people there whether they're like actual calm role players or they are the chaotic kind of crazy role player who just you know wants to set things on fire for no reason <laughs> those are the type of people you will meet in this game and it's really fun there's also a bunch of little secret hidden areas here as well they have a lot of cool models that you can unlock through robux or some they'll just have during events which i think again are really cool but this game is definitely much older and that's why i kind of you know put it probably towards like the bottom of the list because you know it's been out for so long and people are looking to play like newer games but if you're ever just looking to kind of chill meet some people uh this game i would definitely suggest i've had so much fun with this game countless uh, countless memories here just too many lots <laughs> number seven on this list i really just felt like i had to put feather family on here at least somewhere because the amount of times i've made videos on here and the amount of times i've played this with friends and i've had had streams on here every time has been a wonderful time i love this game so much i love the birds every time i have streamed here the really cool thing is that you can create like flocks and every time i have done it i've created a flock and i've had like over 30 people People join my vlog and then follow me and then we would all be flying through the air together and this game just really creates like really good memories I mean if you're looking again for like a good roleplay game this is definitely one of them I would understand though if like birds are not really your thing or maybe you're looking for like dragons because I feel like a lot of the times people are looking for dragons or cats or you know some other kind of animal besides birds I really like the idea of birds because you know flying <laughs> is always a cool thing um, but I also really like how um, they have shaped the map around all the different types of birds because you have like the penguin who lives in the icy mountain area You have the chickens in the village and then they also have like the sanctuary area Everything is just a really good it really clicks together and this game does have frequent updates So I mean there's a lot of new birds coming out every now and then There's also a lot of secrets within this game if you like unlocking mysteries within games Because that's something I found that I really like because I have had so much fun doing it There's so many countless games not even animal games that i have played and they have turned out to be a whole different game through unlocking like mysteries and stuff and it's just mind-blowing and i really enjoy games like those but this one definitely it's it's really good okay i don't mean to like rank it so low but i do feel like there are some that I just kind of take it up a notch but this one again like no hate for this game whatsoever it is amazing it's lovely again many updates always constantly they got a lot going on here and it is just really fun and the community is great and again pretty crazy <laughs> and i mean usually when you're playing these games you want to have like the more fun exciting people than the boring people that always want to kill you or something in a role play you know so this one again really good stuff for number six on our list we have warrior cats ultimate edition now this one i have too many reasons why i love this game but also a few reasons why i just again don't really have it that high on the list and you know maybe why you probably wouldn't play it yourself now this game has amazing customization it has a bunch of things you can do with the cats you could have many different colors you can do like hair pieces you can have different types of ears different types of muzzles literally anything with the cat design and that is one thing that i absolutely adore like taking the customization to a whole nother level where you can literally change the face shape the ear shape you can change how much fur is on it like it's just so much 
that it is amazing to me and I really like it. Another thing I really like is how big this map is and how much there is to explore and how everything is just really cool to look at. This game does also have pretty frequent updates. If that's something you look forward to as well, this game is definitely the thing to look to. This one also has some little secret mystery areas, but those ones aren't really like mystery solving. It's kind of just like fun to find. They also have the Starpedia that is really fun to complete where you have to kind of find everything here and then you get like a little special item after you do so. The only downsides I do see to this game is that it is based off of a book and so clearly if you've never read the book you're not gonna know much about this game. You might just think "Ooh, cats you know and I mean that could definitely like get you started on the book and make you really interested which is definitely really cool that the game could do something like that but I feel like especially for someone like me who has never read it before it's just it's kind of hard to understand what happens and all the roles and because I have I've role played countless times in this game because I love role playing in this game it is so fun everyone takes it so seriously which I love that as well like I love a good serious role play but how seriously they take it can get a little overwhelming if you can't really keep up with what they're talking about like I've had war encounters I don't know how it happened. I just it's it happened <laughs> I've had times where there would be like a leader of our clan and then they die and then someone would take over it And I was like whoa again, we're moving a little too quickly um, But there's like a whole bunch of different roles I believe like within clans like the leader and the sheriff and all that good stuff like healers again It's, it's kind of difficult when you have absolutely no clue like, what role does what? What is this? Why is this clan here? Why is there different clans everywhere? Why are there cats that are rogue? Why are there kitty pets, you know? It's like, why do these cats hate those cats? Like, they're cats, <laughs> you know? Um, I, I feel like I'm kind of like ranting because I don't understand. But it is absolutely no hate towards any of it. It's just my absolute confusion. <laughs> But again, this game is wonderful. I love the model. They changed it, which I think was definitely like a really cool thing that they did because I feel like it's always scary to like change the model of a creature in your game, especially since you've had it for so long and maybe people like really like it. But taking that step to change it is always so cool. And I really like this game for always like bringing it to the next level where they will literally change absolutely as much as they want, you know? They have changed the village. They've changed literally everything about the map kept the layout though but literally changed everything else about it which i think again is something really cool about this game all right now wild savannah has been put on my number five also i understand it's really dark but it's like nighttime and i'm trying to use the night vision because i feel like you can at least slightly see things better maybe <laughs> i guess maybe not I'm, I'm trying to like look at it from both sides because i know this one shows the real color this one is like kind of ooh, ooh you know <laughs> but anyways past past the colors and past the fact that it is night and hard to see wild savannah now i put this at number five because when i say wild savannah i'm kind of more so talking about testing a even though they're basically the same thing but i'm gonna go based off my experiences with testing a although i'm mainly talking about both games because obviously the same things can happen because they are again the same game but this one is again a really old game i have been playing for a while and i have had countless experiences in this game they have all been wild and kooky and i really like it now the surprising thing with this game is i honestly didn't like imagine you could really do like a role play in this game because of how many goofy experiences i've had but when i first started playing this game i was i like i took it upon myself to actually try and do a role play in this game and to my surprise i had a lot of fun with it and a really cool thing about this game is that you can kill each other it's not it's not like cool cool but it's like you can actually take the savannah life to the next level you know i know that i mentioned that that was kind of something i didn't like with animal simulator but that's also because in animal simulator some people can be like way more overpowered than others and so it's really like you're helpless at that point but in this game everyone has like fair game you also can like escape from attackers pretty easily you can reset yourself if you don't like the area you're in there's just like a lot of plus sides to it 
Um, a lot of things that I really like about this game are just like the funny things that have happened where maybe you find a pack of lions and you're a zebra and they're chasing you around. A lot of the times, uh, most of the people in the chat will be spouting absolute nonsense and it's just really funny. Uh, the map is huge though, which I do see as a slight downside because again, I get kind of lost in like big maps. Like this is a map that I will never figure out where to go to get where I want. Like a lot of the times because they'll have like distinctly little features but do you see how this place is like a big plane with a bunch of trees it's difficult to find your way around so that's a big downside to this game but i mean i feel like i see a lot of more plus sides with this game it's just a really fun game just explore you know you have a bunch of different models to look at too but you know if you don't really like wild savannah at least try testing it out i feel like for some reason it just has a different vibe like that's where you'll find a lot more of the crazier people uh in wild savannah i feel like you'll find the more like calmer role players if that's what you're looking for but yes this game is number five on the list um uh, i don't really know if I stated a good reason why or not, but you know, it is. <laughs> All right, now number four on my list is going to have to be Wolf's Life. Now this isn't just saying Wolf's Life beta. This is absolutely any Wolf's Life that has ever existed. I believe, like, okay, honestly, in my opinion, once again, this game has been always one of my favorites. I've had so much fun. I am just, you know, blown away through all the changes that this game has gone through. I just remember role-playing in this game so much, having so much fun exploring, you know, unlocking the wolves because there was one of their games where you could earn gems like through playing and then you could buy like different types of wolf skins through that, which I feel like they are kind of bringing that back or hopefully bringing it back with the whole pop coin things that they got going on in this game but again this game has always uh, really just blown my mind i've always been really excited to see what they have although updates have been a little slower with this game but i mean that's because a lot's going on and they have been resetting it quite frequently like they have gotten to a point they're like okay this is our model and then they like completely redo the model and then they get to a point and they're like okay this is our map and then they completely redo the map and then they state that they're gonna make many other maps and then maybe be change the model again and then do this and that and then you're like that's so much <laughs> and i mean it's really cool that they are like doing all of this like honestly i would not change what they're doing but they're just doing so much overworking i feel and you know it's just i feel like they should take a break maybe just do a few little things first and then move on and or at least make sure that everyone likes what we're doing and then not reset it because i feel like resetting it so much just becomes an issue for everyone everyone but again i have been really happy seeing everything that they've done much their much older games have always brought me like a lot of joy playing them i have countless times where i've had funny moments just good role play moments i've just met cool people through that game and you know it's a really awesome time but anyways that is why this one is at number four all right number three on our list <laughs> is going to have to be bird this game has to be one of the most funniest experiences i have ever had playing an animal game ever okay like this game is just so wacky and kooky and just looking at the map you can probably tell that you're going to have a good time you can literally click and hang on to things you can click and throw other people you can like spray ketchup on people i'm pretty sure that like the ketchup kills them or something you could just throw things at people it gets wild in this game i'm just saying there's even a pit of lava that if you touch you die and people can throw you into it so i would suggest just being careful uh this game is again kind of like an older game most of these games are older games i haven't had many like newer animal games that i've come across although i do know that there are two that plan to come out pretty soon so i will be talking about those when they do but this game it is silly beyond <laughs> it is too funny i've had times where i will get stuck in the ground while trying to explore the place there's just a lot of weird people that play this game and you know weird is cool i guess <laughs> Like, look at this. There is a giant worm in a giant microwave, and you're just a tiny bird, and there's a bunch of other little birds trying to, you know, cook the worm in the microwave. Like, what in the world? There's this paint can I believe you can go into, and it changes your color or something. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I've become a bluebird. But there's just so many wacky things in here that it is just a fun game. If you were just bored out of your mind and just looking for a funky little game to play, and probably more preferably an animal game, this is it. This is the weird.
weirdness to the max, okay? This is the wildest game I could ever possibly find within an animal game. Like, I, I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen anything so ridiculous in an animal game. This one definitely takes the cake. Now, for number two on the list, I would like to put both Creatures of Sunaria and Dragon Adventures in second place, okay? Considering that they are both made by the same group of people. But reason being is because I really can't decide which one would go over what, considering that I feel like I have played both of the games like the same amount of time and have had the best experiences in both games. For Creatures of Sonaria, of course, I feel like this game does kind of get a little like hard, difficult, boring. Maybe if you don't have like the cooler creatures or the more expensive creatures because maybe that's what you want in this game. Or maybe you want like a bigger, stronger creature so that when you're playing the game, some bigger, stronger creature doesn't come up and kill you because that's a downside I do see with this game, just like the Animal Simulator one. Big Bigger creatures, more attack, kill the little guy. Maybe you just want to play this game for fun, have a good role play with your friends, and someone comes along and kills you. You know, it is definitely a big downside. But upsides I see are many fun events within this game, honestly. Every event is really fun, has a bunch of different cool creatures. Also, frequently updates, like frequently, like way too much. <laughs> It always has really awesome creatures there. Um, the newer creatures have always, like, all the new creatures have been super amazing. And they're even, like, redesigning older ones. Like, the Bizu has been redesigned. Like, I just, everything is happening so much, so much at one time. But this game honestly makes me so happy. I love trading games. Like, I used to be a big fan of Royal High. And just like any other game that you can like trade in obviously that's not something that i do much anymore or at least i don't like educate myself on the trading like i'll still trade but i won't be like yes this is fair sometimes i'll trade like the rarest creature for one that i could have probably bought for like a hundred mushrooms you know I, like, I do goofy things with trading but i have so much fun with this game and i'm not even sure like entirely why like i don't even play actually in the game i literally always go to the trade world and i sit there and i just have a good time trading like that is just something that i do i'm like i'm here to collect the creatures and that's it maybe that's what you do maybe you're here to role play but this game is honestly just really cool the countless designs are amazing seeing them you reading about them you know getting to upgrade them literally everything about this game awesome dragon adventures same way just different things a little bit the dragon concepts in that game super amazing I have never just, I have never been disappointed with that game, okay? Countless updates to that one too. I live for it. I live for the updates. They also have really cool events. I literally just can't say anything bad about these games. And that's why I put them at number two. Obviously, there's one that does put itself at number one. But these ones are definitely deserving of being at the top. If you have never played them, I would suggest checking them out. Like, this is a game that you could probably get yourself addicted to. I mean, I'm just saying. Like, you definitely could. There's just so much to it. It's really fun. Now, our last and final on the list, you may or may not recognize this game, is going to be Feline's Destiny. I understand, I understand completely that it is an old, old game, and that it is also made by the same people who made Creatures of Scenaria and Dragon Adventures, or at least like the same one person and then like a few other different people. But this game, all right, listen, hear me out. Like, just hear me out. This game, old, it has made me happy since the very first time I ever played it. Like, I used to be so, so, so obsessed with this game that I used to buy everything in it. Literally, I would grind in the game, getting coins. I would do just about anything in this game. <laughs> and I love this game, okay? I love the map. Like, surprisingly, the map still just blows me away. Even now, like, I'm like, this map is so cool. I love this little creature here. I love the funky things I can put on it. Like, one thing I look for in a game, my number one go-to is customization. If I can customize it, I'm already impressed, you know? <laughs> if I can change the colors, add fluff, add accessories, I am impressed. That is one thing that is going to send me over the moon. I used to roleplay a lot in this game, so that's why, again, this one definitely ranks the, the number one. I just- this one has never disappointed me. I have had so much fun. I have made many videos on this game. Obviously, they're all much older because this game is 
much older. But this is kind of like the start before Dragon Adventures and before Kujo Scenario. And I think it's really cool that I used to be like here way before both of those. And then even now I'm still here. And this game is just, it makes me happy. Okay, like happy vibes everywhere here. It's just a really cute game. I love just role playing in it. People are really cool. I do understand that it's again, older and the models may not look how you would want them to but i feel like all together it's just really fun meeting new people getting to customize getting to do what you want it's awesome but that's gonna be it from this video if you guys did like this video make sure to like subscribe to private life squad and i'll see you guys in the next video bye